So Neely, I've always wanted to know how to make a blog, but I have no idea where to start. Well, you're in luck. That's actually what we're gonna cover here today on The Journey. All right, Alex, now with building your first blog, you really have to figure out what do you actually wanna write about? So my greatest passion is food. Eating it? Yeah, eating it, talking okay. about it, seeing it, whatever. Right on, so that's a, good, that's a good thing to blog about. There are tons of food bloggers out there. Hopefully you'll get some free food out of it. Oh, I mean, absolutely. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, but once you figure that out, you gotta really figure out who your audience is. Who do you wanna serve? So is there a type of food that you really like to blog about? I would say probably just the new up and coming restaurants in the okay. area. So your your audience is more the the trendier people, right. the foodies, the, the millennials, that, the millennials <laughs> like us. So that's super important to figure out what your your actual blog is going to be about and who your audience is, because you have to be targeted with your message. If you try to serve everyone, you actually end up serving no one. It's like trying to boil the ocean. You just can't do it. All right, the next thing to really think about is understanding why you actually want to start this blog, because there's a lot of work involved. So Alex, why do you want to start this blog? Well, I just love to write, so it's a great outlet for some creativity. Okay. And also just to, you know, try, try new food options. <laughs> I dig it, I dig it. So now that you have those questions answered, the next part of really starting your blog is figuring out what the, the name of it is going to be and the branding. Now, do you have an idea of what your name's gonna be? Because I have an idea. Yeah, what do you think I should name my blog? So I already checked and the domain name is alexeatsfood.com is available. It's perfect. So the blog, <laughs> Alex Eats Food, right? So Let's I think go. I think that's what we're gonna make today. <laughs> So with that name, uh, if you're struggling on trying to figure out what your own name is, we got a video up here on naming that'll definitely help you out. But to carry on with that, the next portion of it comes branding. Your brand is literally every single aspect of your blog. That's the, the way you talk on it, that's the images you use, the text, the font, literally everything. So you wanna try to keep that consistent. The more consistent you are with your branding, the more people are easily able to recognize you. Right, like if you see like GoDaddy's color, the green and orange, you instantly think GoDaddy. Right. Or like the red and yellow, what colors do you think mm -hmm. of? McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. right. So keep Alex it, eats food. <laughs> Alex eats food, look at that. All right, so the last thing you need to ask yourself before you actually start going into building the website is figuring out, do you want just a blog? Or do you want a full on website with a blog included? So Alex, which one do you want? I think I want to keep it simple, just do the blog for now, so that way I can still focus on all the food eating. Right, like that's super important. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys a quick demo. Let's go check it out. All right, Alex, so we're about to make your blog here. I'm gonna take you through actually installing WordPress on a hosting account. There's a difference between WordPress.com hosting and self-hosted WordPress. Now, for most business owners, I would definitely recommend a self-hosted WordPress. This is basically you going to a hosting provider, buying hosting and installing WordPress on top of it. Sounds like a lot of work, but it's actually yeah. pretty easy to do. So check Perfect. it out. So inside a cPanel, most providers have it. You're gonna look for a thing called Installatron. There's lots of apps to choose from. You click WordPress, install this application. Then it's gonna give you a lot of different options. We have our domain name here, alexeatsfood.com. Directory, leave blank, so you don't want it like slash something. You just wanted the domain. Uh, you have the username and password here, your email, you can update that as you need to, and then you click install at the bottom. Wow, okay, easy enough. All right, so you've never built a WordPress site before, right? Right. So brand new. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about WordPress is that you can access it literally anywhere you want to. So where's kind of your f kind of favorite places to work? I like to write on my blog whenever I'm, you know, at home. At home, yeah. just chilling out. Yeah. Uh, I like coffee shops and right. just working there so I can access it there, which is cool. So you go to your domain name and then forward slash wp-admin. There'll be a login screen. I'm cheating and doing like a one-click login here inside a cPanel. So now there's a get started wizard. We're gonna skip past that just because you may not have that get starting wizard with your hosting provider. So we'll hit no thanks. So this is WordPress. It can seem overwhelming. There's lots of stuff here to choose from, but I think the very first thing that we need to do is choose a theme for your site. Okay. So a theme is basically like how you want your site to look, feel, and function. Okay, so are I'm there gonna, different things that I can choose from? Uh, there are a ton. So you go to appearance and themes. You have some default ones here. I would recommend installing your own. Okay. But I'm gonna have you kind of choose your own. We're gonna go to the most popular here. 
and we'll just tell me when. I'll let you pick whatever one you want. I like this one. All right, so welcome we're, to Sydney. we're going to Sydney. <laughs> Let's do it. So you mouse over it, click install. So then once it's installed, you click activate, and then you've just installed a theme. Okay. Super simple. All right, so after themes, we want to kind of check out some plugins. So plugins are basically little add-ons to your website. Okay. So you can literally do almost anything with a plugin. There's that old phrase, there's a plugin for that. We actually made a video on our favorite plugins if you want to check it out. Uh, but I'll show you how to install a plugin. It's pretty much the same as installing a theme. Okay. So plugins, add new. And then it's going to show you some of the featured plugins here. Um, and then we're going to go to popular. And I'll let you kind of check it out. Um, so let's check out, uh, we definitely want people to find your website. So we'll install Yoast SEO here. And just like that, we're going to click install. So once you do install, again, same thing, activate. And then that plugin's done. All right, so that's installing a plugin, super simple, but okay. let's get to the real meat of making your blog and that's the post. So right. let, do you wanna make a post right now? Yeah, let's do it. Cool, so where's a place that you recently ate at or maybe your favorite place in Austin? Let's go with Hop Dottie, great burgers. So super simple, mouse over post and go add new. And then you're gonna go to the editor and this is going to be where you can basically start writing all your content. So how do you spell Hop Dottie? Is it H-O-P? H-O-P. H-O-P. Uh, hip daddy, <laughs> I can't type. H-O-P-D-O-D-D-Y. Cool, hop dot exactly as it sounds. <laughs> so you put your title here, you can add all your content. Look at all this great content this I'm really writing. Great content. I'm, I'm just the best here. <laughs> all the words. Guys, my blog is gonna be a lot better than this. Super hot this. fire. <laughs> all right, and then, so this is uh, what was called the Gutenberg editor, now it's just really called the page editor. You can add all your stuff here. So as you see, I just started typing. There's this little plus guy right here and you can add even more content. So maybe you wanna start adding pictures of your restaurant or the restaurants you eat at rather, or the food you eat. You do so here, just add your image and then you can choose from the media library. Okay. I don't have anything in the media library. No so, hop daddy pictures. So no hop daddy pictures. So I'm gonna grab just a picture of a burger just for example sake. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to pexels.com and just type in burgers see what pops up. And these are all free images, right? Yes, these are all free images. Makes it super helpful, especially if maybe you're not doing food reviews where you have to have mm -hmm. the image. Maybe you just need some cool stock photos. Yeah, absolutely. These all look delicious and I'm <laughs> hungry. All right, so I'm gonna download this really quick. Cool. What's cool about uh, Pexels too is these photographers are giving their photos for free. If you wanna support them, you can donate or follow them on Instagram, which is pretty cool. Very cool. Little, little kick back there. And then once you have your image, you're gonna upload it there. And then add your alt text. So alt text is basically what Google can read because Google can't understand what an actual image is. So okay. we have to tell it. So super awesome burgers. <laughs> and then select. And then we have our post. And then as you see here, we installed Yoast SEO. So there's a little section to update your search engine titles, search and descriptions, oh, okay. and all that good stuff. And now last but not least, the, one of the more important things to think about with your post is to have a featured image. Basically, so when you have your your, your site, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just text. You have that little, little image there to capture it. Okay. Make sure you're on the document tab, go down to featured image, set featured image, and I'm gonna be lazy and just choose the same image. <laughs> burgers all over the place. Burgers, burgers, burgers. And then when you're done, you can publish. Or if you say you, you've created a bunch of content, you don't want them all published at once, mm -hmm. you can actually schedule it right here. Oh, nice. So publish, when do you want this to publish? I'd say on Friday. Friday, all right. So let's check it out. All right. So obviously the title, we're gonna have to update a little bit. <laughs> That's but then <laughs> here's here's your, your blog post. So the feature image always shows first and then your content and then your feature image. You have comment boxes so your visitors can go and add their own two cents or say that is a super awesome burger. I'm super hungry now. <laughs> um, but let's check out a couple other places on WordPress. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys widgets. And what exactly do widgets do? Widgets are a WordPress's best friend. So on your blog post, you saw that there was that sidebar with not a lot of real content. It's just kind of default generic stuff. Right. So if you go to appearances and then widgets, 
is just basically all this content that you're gonna have on your sidebar and on your footer. Some themes may give you more options for sidebars, and especially if you have WooCommerce, you could have a sidebar just for your blog post. You don't want your blog post just to have like products, you wanna have posts, but you want your products to show other related products, things like that. Got it. So you can easily just get rid of stuff you don't want by clicking and dragging. And then something else to, to really check out is the, the Customize tab. Most themes, especially the free themes, will have all the options to really design and style your site right there. I'm just gonna give you a, a quick overview of what this looks like. So this Sydney theme has a ton of options, and so I was actually a little surprised. <laughs> um, you can all, add all your stuff here. So your site title, your header area, things like that your homepage settings. Uh, th so this is super important. So you're gonna have your latest posts show up. So let's go ahead and go back. All right, so let's check out your website. So you can again, just click the My Blog, that okay. little shortcut to get to your website. Nice. So why does it say create your menu here in the top right corner? Um, because we need to create a new menu here. <laughs> so that menu is gonna be your navigation. It's all you know, like your home links, your about, contact, all that good stuff. Uh, you can either click it there if you're on the front of site, or if you're in the dashboard, it's appearance and then menus. And you can add your stuff here. So it looks like we have a menu already kind of created. We have home and then sample page. I don't want sample page to show up, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that. And then go ahead and click create menu. Then once you do, you'll see at the bottom here, it shows menu settings. So you can auto add pages. So add you as you add like an about, a contact mm -hmm. things, it'll automatically come here. So you don't have to. And then display location, primary menu is so it'll actually appear up there. Okay. So if we go primary menu and save, and now check out the site, it'll show home. Okay. Just like cool. that. Then we have your awesome hop dotty post with all this randomness. <laughs> Great and content. then hello world. Right there, the Another default per, <laughs> default post there. So what does it mean when it says uncategorized right there? Uh, I almost forgot. So every post has a category. So you can have like burger restaurants, mm -hmm. or you can have ice cream places, whatever you want it to be. So by default, WordPress doesn't know what to put. So it's gonna have an uncategorized uh, category. So you go over to post categories and then just click quick edit. We're gonna just type in burgers here make it nice and simple. But as, as you add posts, you can add content here for categories or inside the post itself. Okay. So now one of the issues with having a blog is potentially the amount of spam you might get. There yeah. are bots out there that just go out and just basically add just nonsense posts trying to get links back to their site. So how do I avoid that? Um, so there's a few things you can do. So most of the time, WordPress will come pre-installed with a plugin called Akismet Anti-Spam. You can sign up and do that. Otherwise, you can do like a CAPTCHA plugin that makes sure that they're an actual person on your website and commenting. Uh, plugins like Discus, which is like Facebook login or, or Twitter login, is definitely good to help prevent some of that stuff too. So earlier you showed me that SEO plugin. You know, mm -hmm. how do I make sure that my content is gonna be seen? Yeah, uh, let's actually check out Yoast. So if you go over to your page, we wanna go back to edit it again. So you can either click directly on it or click edit here. So under Yoast, it's gonna give you a lot of recommendations and things like that. Like again, I have nonsense here just for the sake of this, but you're the writer, I'm gonna let you create here. <laughs> I'll um, work the magic later. But it'll take a little snippet here for you. So by default, it's gonna have title, page, separator, and site title. So you can get rid of this and do hop dotty, my favorite burger place review or whatever you want it to be. Okay. And it's gonna give you a little kind of wheel. The more content, the better. So you see, it goes oh, to green. Green is good. Uh, basically, and then it's gonna give you like a little snippet of how it's gonna look on search engines. The, you want a lot of content that's attention grabbing and has kind of your, your focus keyword. So your focus keyword really be like hop dotty review. Mm -hmm. You wanna make sure you have that in there. And then your meta description, like it says, please provide a meta description by editing the snippet below. Basically it's, a quick little snippet of what someone's gonna get out of your content mm -hmm. if they read it. You wanna keep it engaging, but again, make sure you have whatever your focus word is. For you, it'd be hopped out of your view, so have that somewhere in there. As a business owner, your page, your post, you'll, you'll wanna make sure that you have some type of focus word for that page, whether it's a review or an about us or a service, and include it in your, your description and your title. 
And then you can kind of go down, there's an SEO analysis. It's gonna give you a lot of information and you can literally just go down the rabbit hole of just clicking all this stuff. Uh, I'll leave that for another video. <laughs> Actually, we did a video on SEO if you wanna check it out right here. Whoa, so why does it say not secure there in the top left corner? Because technically it's not secure. Yikes. So really, I mean, it's secure, like the information on there is fine. But with WordPress, you have that WP-admin where you log in, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not secure. So if you enter in your username and your password, that information is sent over plain text on the internet. Oh, wow. So if there's a man in the middle of text, someone's what's called sniffing, captures that information, it's out there. That doesn't super, sound good. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. Super important if you have like a, a type of shop or you're mm -hmm. taking credit card information or just personal information. So that can be easily fixed by getting an SSL certificate. So if you do enter username and password, it's sent over the internet, it's all jumbled up. So even if someone grabs it, they have no idea what the heck it means. Okay. Um, and then on top of just really just safety and security, you always wanna make backups, especially with a blog and you're constantly adding stuff. Mm -hmm. like you plan to post how many times a week or how many times a month? I'm planning on posting probably about once a week. Okay, so there, that's like 52 posts a year. Mm -hmm. So if something were to happen to your site, all those posts are gone. Yeah. So make sure you have some type of backup service. Most hosting providers will have something for you uh, or you can find something third party, but it's always easier to do it with your hosting provider since it's all usually automated. Uh, but you wanna protect all this time invested into this project, mm -hmm. make sure it's just not gone in the blink of an eye. Right. All right, so these are just the basics of building your first blog. There, again, there's lots of options to kind of go through and make it your own. Like we still need to update the, the title and then it comes with the navigation colors, things like that. But at least this has a solid foundation for you to build your first site. And then from here, it's just exploring. That's kind of the fun of WordPress. There's so much to explore, so you can never stop learning. Perfect, well, thanks for all the help. And let us know in the comments below what videos you guys wanna see. And be sure while you're down there, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel as well. This is The Journey, we'll see you next time.